Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Pauline Fu. In this video, I will present an example for demand loan. Okay, so this is the question. You can read uh, by yourself. Uh, so based on this question, I set up an Excel. The data you see are given in the question. Okay. Um, so the question asks you, what is the interest paid on August 31st? This is the question, okay? Um, so those are three different rates on different date, three partial payment on different date, original loan amount, okay? So first we calculate number of days using Excel days function. Then I copy down the formula. Um, the last day, uh, well, October 31st is inclusive, so I will change to 22. And uh, now on May 15, the person makes 600 partial payments. Okay, so we calculate the interest on May 15, interest equal to principal P times interest R times time. Okay, number of days divided by 365. This is the interest. Uh, how when you make 600 payment, how much apply to the loan? It is the difference between 600 and the interest. And now unpaid balance is just the difference between the previous balance and the amount you paid to the loan. Okay, uh, so keep on going. On June 30, the interest is interest equal to principal times interest times time divided number of days divided by 365. Okay. And uh, Dr. Hirsch make 800 partial payment. So how much apply to the loan? 800 minus interest. And now the outstanding balance becomes the difference between previous balance and the payment applied to the loan. Okay. Uh, and now on July 1st, you just have one day. So interest equal to principal times R times T. One day over 365. Okay. Uh, and um, for them, July 1st to August 10th, uh, you do not make any partial payment. So the balance is just copied down. Okay. And uh, calculate the interest on September 1st, interest equal to principal times interest. This time interest is 8.5% times 62 days over six, 62 days, that is F17 over 365, okay? And now the interest on August 10th equal to principal times interest. This time interest is 9.5, okay? And times, uh, 39 days over 365. Okay. So now these three interest, these three numbers are accord interests. Okay, accord interest. Uh, so you need to add all these three numbers together. Maybe I'll make another column accord. Okay, interest. So equal to sum of this three number. Equal sum. So accord interest is 470. Okay. Uh, but this person make payment 400. So uh, do I have a room? 
So you use 470 minus 400, okay? This is uh, the interest this person has to pay, okay? Uh, and then you have to calculate the interest on August 31st. So equal principal times interest times days 365. Okay, so now this number plus this number. Okay, so interest on August 31st is $108. Accord interest uh, less the partial payment is seventy dollars. So the total amount final answer, okay, um, equal to you add these two number. So this is the final answer. Okay, I use board and make the font bigger. All right. That's all for this example. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for your time. See you next time.